we're cooking some creamy lima beans. If you're from New Orleans, you may call these butter beans, but we're using large lima beans. My favorite brand of large lima beans are Camellia brand large lima beans. We're gonna start off with washing the beans. You wanna place all your beans in your pot, shake them around a little bit, agitate them in the water, make sure that they're all clean, remove any imperfections that you may see, and we're gonna rinse off all of that water. Then you're gonna place about um, two inches above the beans in water and allow those to cook and bring them to a, a rolling boil. Then we're gonna use our Trilogy. You're gonna chop up your large green bell pepper and dice it up. Next, we're gonna grab our stalks of celery and we're gonna dice those up and have those ready and put to the side so that we can saute them. Then after we saw, cut up the celery, you also wanna get your diced garlic. And also, we're gonna cut up a large onion and dice it up into little small pieces. Then we're gonna get our smoked sausage. I like to use Manda smoked sausage. And when you're slicing up the sausage, you wanna make sure that you keep it in full round lengths because if you cut them up into half or quarter pieces, they will begin to open up in the crock pot while they're cooking. So here we have our sausage, onions, bell pepper, celery, and minced garlic, all ready to be sauteed. I like to use crock pot liners. It makes our cleanup a lot easier, so when you're done, you can just go ahead and remove the whole bag. You place the bag inside the crock pot and it allows it to still cook. So now we have our beans, which have fully come to a boil and have been sitting on the side. We're gonna take those beans and remove them from the water, not use the water that the beans came to a boil in. Remove all those beans and place them in your crock pot. Now we're gonna go ahead and use our pan again. We're gonna coat it with some olive oil and we're gonna saute our onions, bell pepper, celery, and garlic, and bring all of that to a nice warm saute. Once you see that all your seasonings have come to a clear consistency and they've been sauteed, you go ahead and add in your smoked sausage. And what we're gonna do with that is add it into the pot and let that brown. You want the sausage not to be overcooked, but to be brown on both sides. So once you have all your season, seasoning sauteed and your sausage brown, turn off the heat, and then you remove all of the seasoning and the sausage and you add it to your crock pot on top of your beans. I learned that it's best to measure your water when using it in a crock pot. I use five to six cups of water every time I cook it. So we're gonna start and we're gonna go ahead and season the beans. Put in your bouillon cubes. I like to use two of those. Then we're gonna season it with a little bit of salt and our tablespoon of liquid crab ball. And that's gonna give us all of the seasonings because with the crab ball and the salt, that will cook down once you turn your crock pot on. Go ahead and give your beans a little bit of a stir. Mix it up, all your seasoning, sausage, together with your water. And then we're gonna place our top on our crock pot and set our timer. I like to set the timer for four hours on high. Then I go back to the beans at about three hours and I start to mash the beans. You wanna press down on your beans on the side of the pan and also to the bottom just to help cream them up and open up the beans a lot. 
And so once you've mashed your beans really good, you go ahead and take your stick of butter and you place it in. Let it start to melt. Mix your beans up with the butter. This butter is going to help. This whole stick of butter is going to help to cream up your beans. Mix it up. And then you place your top back on your beans and you let it cook for an hour on low. At this point, you can add a little bit of seasoning to taste if necessary. Remember, you want to taste the beans to see how they're going just to make sure you have the right amount of seasoning. Once they've been topped up and cooked for another hour, bam, your beans are done. We have some creamy crock pot lima beans. Go ahead and serve that over rice, which you'll, you can have a meat on the side. But guess what? You don't even need one because we have some sausage already in these lima beans. Make sure you like and subscribe for more great videos.